back to Wednesday nights on the Beagle on 2BAC hour 100.9 FM. So, Rachel, you've uh, been looking into some products. Yes. Recently. So, I've been looking into a couple of products. One is to change banks because banks are evil. Banks are evil. <laughs> yeah. We all know. And it just keeps getting more evil. As um, I go, my yeah. life is just, just going down here. <laughs> Pretty much that is a lie. Know, like, was it. Okay, I can't remember the, which bank it was, and part of me does want to throw others under the bus, but I also want to throw all of them under the bus. Yeah, yeah banks need a rule, you know. Like, they just sold a car loan of, like, $270 a week to somebody who only made $300 and something dollars a week, mm. plus $600 of, um, Centrelink benefits. So why did you do that? Oh, yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, that's just one of the many things that have come out in the Royal Commission, and I was looking at different banks. Yeah. And it just opened up this world of features that aren't features. Yeah. So they want to list the features of their everyday accounts mm -hmm. that include things like unlimited withdrawals, <laughs> access yeah. to the internet. Yeah, and internet banking, like, isn't that yeah, just something yeah. that everything has? And like, there? unlimited transfers, unlimited f -pos You know what? Yes. The f -pos and the withdrawal of the things, it, in business accounts, you actually get charged per withdrawal or per transaction. Because I was actually inquiring about business accounts, mm -hmm. and I think they said it was something like, I would get 30 transactions per month, and then every... Char one after that would be uh, charged at $2 or something per transaction. So the features I thought weren't features actually are yeah. features. And then, then the one that... I've never heard of an account that, besides a business account, like a personal yeah. account, mm -hmm. I've never heard of an account that's, you only have mm -hmm. a certain amount of trade. Like, you can only go to the ATM 10 times oh, before you get charged. we're going to charge you or yeah. before we stop yeah. letting you withdraw money. Yeah. Like, that's not a thing. Yeah, I think it's more with business accounts. I don't, yeah, I don't think I've seen it on personal accounts either. But I think the one that I ended up going, I, I didn't get like a business account or anything. I think I just changed one of my accounts um, and it was one with, so one, was it withdrawal? No, it was like, oh, so I got a card and yeah, it was one uh, free transaction a month and then every other transaction I get charged on it. That is a terrible deal. No, yeah. That, that, that's terrible. I know, but I think, <laughs> like, sorry, whatever it was, it worked out to be the best value. I don't know. I don't know what it was. Oh, like the other ones were like 30 free, but then after that, it's higher. No, no. I think it was like that was then I would get a card, but then if I wanted to get it, like if I, if I just wanted like transactions and things, I wouldn't be able to get a card for it, but I wanted a physical card because okay, if I so needed to send someone in, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, well, it depends on what kind of account you have. But anyway, features that are not features. Yeah. Yeah. So I then bought an e-tag okay. because I'm an adult. Yeah. Adults oh. have responsibilities. I'm so sorry. And I can't keep something that I haven't had to do. Well, I can't keep using my dad's e-tag. E Why not? Because he told me not to. <laughs> no. <laughs> so... I was looking at the different e-tag companies, which I There's actually recently... so many here. I just assumed that they were given by RMS. You see? Me too. I, I don't have one. Because when I got a car... I was probably laughing at us, but no. Really. When I got a car, I just thought that I was going to get an e-tag, like I'm going to deck everything out, you know, I'm gonna, ready to be an adult in terms of <laughs> the car life. Um, and then I was buying the e-tag, and it was like e-tag, mm -hmm. e-toll, pole, e, blah, Wait. blah. Victoria Roads, like there's so many of them. So features on there, because I was comparing them, and some of them there's um, oh, like a minimum take that money account, yeah, and then like sixty dollars, and then they take yeah. that whenever you get past sixty dollars, you need they automatically they top it up. And so up. some of them had different top up amounts. So and some had to pay for the actual physical tag. Yeah. yeah. So some yeah they had different. Tag amounts. Some of them you could like rent the tag. So you got a free tag and you had to pay like a dollar every month. Or something. And then pay and then like send it back when you're done. I don't know. Like, yeah, there was kind of a different scheme there. Um, and then some of them had a minimum $40 top up. Some of them had different things. Yeah. But, but they're the probably still the same price. So yeah. There you go. And they all work on all roads in Australia, by the way. Yeah. That's not a feature. <laughs> so, but one of the things that 
work wasn't a feature when you go into payment options. Yeah. And they're like, you can pay by credit card. Tip, you can pay by debit card. You, you can, can pay, pay by pay. Pay. Like, Yeah, you can pay BPay. It's like, just, yes. If you weren't able to pay by credit card, yeah. what are you doing? But also cash. How do you get it? You do you like to cash in an envelope and then like mail it? Yeah, you can go into post office or like the news agent. I pay my bills the old school way. Like do you? Do you? Do you really? Yeah. But what, what bills is it? Like, because my phone doesn't really have like, bills. It's like a credit card bill. Okay, what about phone? Like, oh, I know my phone like, bill is direct debit. Yeah. But like that, because I know how much it's going to be every month. But if I have this, it's, well, it's not really a credit card. But anyway, it's like a credit card bill. Um, the statement comes in and I'm like, alright, I'm just going to go to the post office and pay it. Yeah. Because um, the online one takes three days to process and sometimes I forget. Yeah. And then I have to go in and pay it. Um, but yeah, I walk in and I'm like, i got to pay this bill and I feel like an old school kind of person. Oh, Except yeah. I, just, I take a photo of the bucket and I'm like, just yeah, but, Well, I remember the first time my mum said, oh, can you go and pay this bill? And I was like, I don't know how to do that. How do I do that? Yeah. What do I do? Mm-hmm. What do I do? <laughs> it's, it's like, Telstra, do I go to Telstra? Yeah. So I was like, where's Telstra? Like, I was so confused and it was just obviously the post office. Yeah. Like, do I go to the bank? Maybe I go to the bank and tell them to transfer it or yeah. whatever it was. Um, but I have done that a few times, like, if, if I'm for my mum, because yeah. I haven't the old had a bill that I've had to pay that way. But yeah. I actually love direct debit. Like, let's, yeah. let's take it back to the days when direct debit didn't exist. Yeah. Like, imagine how you late fees and like. I like direct debit a lot. Like, I for my phone bill, direct debit all the way. Perfect. But for a bill like that, that I don't know how much I'm going to put on in every month. Yeah. I don't want to set an amount just in case I don't have yeah. that amount, or that I yeah. don't want to spend or that much put every more month. Or yeah. Kind of, yeah. Because like with a credit card bill, you get a, a, a like a minimum payment statement. Yeah. Right? And if you pay that, then you you know on on the thing that I have at the moment, it's like. Interest free if you pay it off within how many years, yeah. but your minimum is like more than that. Yeah. So they like, want you to get the interest, right? Wow. So I always pay more than the minimum. But Just if I so set it to like, like by the time that yeah, if I set it to like one hundred and fifty dollars every month, I don't know if in that month at that time I want to give them one hundred and fifty dollars. Like I might yeah. only want to do one hundred. Yeah. So and because it's like a flexible thing like that, it's not like a phone bill where yeah. you know you need you to know exactly how much. Yeah. yeah. And it's gonna come out on this day. You know. And mm-hmm. well, yeah. Yeah. So. So have you ever seen something that has features that are just nowadays standard? I think phone, oh, yes, phone yes, plans yes. have a bit of this one, like yes. unlimited calls and texts. Yeah. Or if they were to say, you know, unlimited, like, because you remember, like, old school when um, texts were different prices? Yeah. Based on how long they were? Imagine yeah. Like yeah, so like nowadays, 25 cents. Yeah. yeah, and so you're trying to make things shorter. Imagine if a phone company still did that. Yeah. But and, like, and they, now they advertise their feature is like send texts of more than fifty characters. Yeah. yeah. But now that's no longer like unlimited calls and texts is no longer a feature. Yeah. Like that's just something everybody expects that thing to have. Like yeah. if, I, if I go into a phone store and they're like, okay, so the new phone, you know, you get hundred dollars worth of calls. You gonna be like, like what? Hundred dollars worth of text. I'm like, what? No, that's not right. I yeah. don't want to think about how many calls and how many texts, mm. and I don't want to get a phone bill that's like two hundred dollars mm. when you know I know how much I should be paying. Mm. So that's not really a feature anymore. I think, mm. yeah, since everybody went onto plans and everything, mm. or most people went onto plans. Yeah, I think a big one where they add a lot of features that aren't really features are uh, like <laughs> um, <laughs> where like if you're purchasing. A domain or web hosting, yeah. Mm. Um, because essentially you're getting the same thing, yeah. Um, for, for but they're example, trying to make it sound like, oh, we'll, we'll give you this. Look thing. at all of the things that are yeah. included. Yeah. Like, for example, this this one says, you know, twenty gigabytes of storage space, and I, I think actually a lot of it is of course they've got to do with the lack of knowledge mm. that some people that are going to be buying. Web hosting might not yeah. exactly know how much of this they'll need or how much of that or what well, that's like, exactly. You know, twenty four seven customer support. It's like yeah, you, know, you should exactly. be doing that if you're providing any service. Exactly. So, um, you know, for example, monthly, you know, monthly data transfers, and yeah. you've got eight park domains, but it's like those domains aren't 
even active, I'm pretty sure. So it's like, yeah, like that's kind of fair enough that you have a few of them. Anyway, and like if you have yeah. a product that has a feature that's not really a feature, let us know on our Facebook page. Um, and I don't know that we've got time to play more songs. I think that uh, we are pretty much done. We don't have time for days of the week. We have, we we have five off. minutes. I can do days of the week really quickly. Okay, quick days right, of the week. Let's, do let's go days of the week really quick. Uh, I already had it up, where is it? Okay, today is the 21st of November. Wednesday, 21st of November. It is Stuffing Day, uh, False Delicious. Confessions Day, <laughs> Red Mitten Day, Tie One On Day. I don't know what that means. Duke, 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 Duke on Tie One, one On Day, uh, Duke, Duke Box Day, World Television Day, and World Hello Day. Hello, hello, hi. Uh, oh, hello. Not hi. Hi. Thursday, the twenty second of November is uh, Go for a Ride Day, Cam Cranberry Rollish Day, Day of Mourning, uh, Turkey Free Thanksgiving Day. Uh, and a blue Christmas day. I think that's got something to do with police. Uh, Friday the 23rd. I have no time to read this. Friday the 23rd is Fibonacci day, flossing day, day of listening. Uh, Black, oh, Black Friday. Oh, that's another thing. I'll talk about that next week. Uh, you're welcome giving day, stinky day. Uh, cashews day, yuck, maize day, eat a cranberry day. Wait, maize or maize? Maze, as in corn. Okay, I love cashews. <laughs> Systems Engineer <laughs> Day, Espresso Day, good old espresso. Uh, buy Nothing Day, um, that's it for that day. Uh, <laughs> the 24th, Saturday the 24th of November is Celebrate Your Unique Talent. I don't have one, mine is sleeping actually. Uh, Saturday oh, Day, Small Business Saturday, Cat, that's one for you. Uh, oh. <laughs> my week. <laughs> Sunday, the 25th of November is uh, sh Shopping Reminders Day, uh, Parfait Day. Oh, I'm not again! I've had that like every week. Aura Awareness Day. <laughs> auras! Auras. Uh, Monday, oh, the, auras. Monday, the 26th of November is uh, Cake Day, Cyber Monday. That's it for that. Um, and... Tuesday, the 27th of November is uh, Craft Jerky Day, Pins and Needles Day, Bavarian oh. Cream Pie Day, Ooh. and it, Giving Tuesday, it's also my brother's birthday. Happy um, birthday! Happy birthday, Adrian. And that is it. That brings us all the way up to November, uh, Wednesday of next week, which of course we'll read out on the next week's show. And that's all we have time for. We have one minute. So uh, don't forget to tune in next week for our show from 7 to 9 p.m. Don't forget to vote on our poll. And don't forget to page. subscribe. Subscribe to our YouTube, YouTube channel. Hello. And uh, we will see you guys next week. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night.